are such an asshole. So normally I don't do uh, fix it videos, but I found a fix it and I couldn't find it on the internet. I had to troubleshoot it myself and I figured it out. So I wanted to share because this is an incredibly frustrating thing. You will be typing in Microsoft Outlook Online, Microsoft 365 or Outlook 365, <clears throat> which I guess is a watered down version of the full fledged Microsoft Office package with Outlook being one of them. This is online. And what ends up happening is you'll be typing and you'll start missing keystrokes. And you're thinking like, am I missing the typing? Is something wrong with my keyboard? You think it's a physical thing. So you clean out your keyboard. Know that. And then you go and you do it on like Notepad or Microsoft Word or something that is an Outlook. And you realize, no, it's something wrong with it. So you think, okay, maybe it's a delay. There's lag. And that, uh, no, I, and God, it was infuriating. I wanted to punch whoever was, was the, the CEO of Microsoft this time around right in the nuts. But it didn't matter. But I figured it out. <clears throat> when I was typing, the double blue underline, because you're too stupid to know what word you wanted to use. A Microsoft, like a nagging wife. Is this the word you want to use? Is this really what you want? Ooh, there's something wrong here. Could be something wrong here. So the double blue line is like, it's maybe the wrong word. It's spelled right, but it's the wrong. Wrong word gets the squiggling line. That's what's throwing it off. The grammar recommendations. Uh, the autocorrect. Okay. <clears throat> and and one day, and you may have had this problem too. Microsoft Office Outlook 365 decided to start recommending words to you as you're typing them, which was jarring as all get out. You have to turn off, you have to deneg, you have to de wife your Outlook 365 settings. So you got to go to the settings. You got to, and, and I forget where it is, but somewhere in your settings, you turn off autocorrect, you turn off the recommendations, you shut it, shut it down, man, shut it all down. And you you turn off you turn off the the ghost in the machine the wife in Microsoft Office. <laughs> you turn it off and you shut it up. And then once it stops recommending things, because I think what it's doing is it's always going through all your text online, and while it's processing that, they didn't give it enough processing power or something's wrong with the software that it's not picking up your keystrokes as it's constantly anally analyzing every possible you mistake. Again, you married men know what this is like. All right. Oh, there's a button. We can turn it off. Shut the F up. Let me drive. And that's how it solved that. That worked. So if you're having the same trouble, that's that. I don't know about your wife. I don't know how you handle your wife. That's. You found your wrong. Option setting options nag off. Oh, oh. All right, see you guys later, toodles. Oh wait, do we have any super chat? No. All right, there we go. See you guys later.